we start off with our first game of the season at home with George, Mr. Intensity Lesher, on the mound. He picks up two big strikeouts at the top of the first inning to leave Pitt scoreless and bring his offense to work. Brett, the Steinpiece Steinel, delivers a base hit to left field. Ian Tracy, the leadoff man at first base, Brendan McCarty Ricciardi with a whoop! A few domino slices away from a grand slam, but instead he will settle to look his way for a double. And as they say in that Penn State dugout, twist it! Joe Hurley gets it on the action here as his RBI ground out drives in George Lesher, and it is 3-0. The president, Ryan Hodenko, with a base hit here on the full count with two outs to score Bacardi. Just like that, it's a 4 nothing ball game. Fast forward to the bottom of the second, Ian Tracy with a base hit up the middle, and look at Tom Campana fly. He could go all the way, but the ball gets away. Being given the clear and obvious stop sign, Campana believes in himself, and it turned out somehow to work, and it's 5-1. Steinel, once again, making his presence felt with a sacrifice fly to right field, and it's 6-1, to Nitty Lions! Whoop! And then there's George Lesher, his parking wall, frozen in the tracks. He's not the first, he's not the second, third, or fourth, but he's well parked the fifth, and he drives in the seventh run of the ballgame with that blazing speed going down the first base line. Dom Campana drops one into left field here in the bottom of the fifth to extend on that lead and make it 8 to 2. George Lesher, he makes people look like they are very bad at baseball. And in this situation, he will let you hear it to anybody and everybody that will listen in the area. He always has something to say. Ian Slick Farrell coming in for the final three outs. Just like he left off back in the fall, he gets it done. Final score here in game one, eight to three. Whoop! 